So for the tugboat version, what you're going to do is hold the rope in your hands with your palms facing up, and you have the long side towards your left, the short side in your right, and with your left hand, you're going to twist it towards you, and you have this cross right here. See it right there? And that's what you're going to encircle when you throw your rope on the right hand. So you throw it, it encircles, the rope flops over and it hangs in front of you, and now what you do is you take your left hand, reach through, grab the right loop, and pull it through. And then when it pulls tight, it cinches down like that, and that's the loop that you get. Now this is a modified version of the angler's loop, so if you want to get that one, this is what you're going to do. For the angler's loop, you're going to start with the rope in your left hand and facing to your left. And then you're going to reach and grab it with your right. You're going to twist it so that you have a cross. And then you're going to throw it over, same like before, and when it flops in front of you, you're going to do the same thing, grab it through and pull. Now this is what you want to end up with. That's your angler's knot, right there, your angler's loop. But here's the thing about this. If it happens to spill in the wrong way, you're still going to get a loop that is secure enough to pull someone in. Grab, twist, throw around, right? Grab it in a haste, and then we pull. This one did fall in line with the angler's loop, but let's say it doesn't. And when you pull it, it spills. You end up with this. We pull. It still is secure enough to keep the loop.